Uncle TJ, are you talking to us? Can I? I can't hear anything. Why can't I hear anything? I was talking to Ms. Daffers. Awesome, thank you. I was like, is my computer broken? <laughs> We'll wait a few more minutes. We'll wait a few more minutes. We'll wait a few more Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today at our SCC meeting. Uh, Crystal, thanks for dialing in as well. And Mark, thanks for joining us today. Uh, great to see you guys. Um, Thank you. I'd like to go ahead and call the meeting to order at 5.03 p.m. And really quickly, let's just kind of do introductions uh, again, just to kind of familiarize everyone with everyone. Um, so I'll start. Um, I'm TJ Gill. I'm the chairperson for SCC and also re represent the non-certificated uh, personnel. Anyone can go next. Hi, I'm Tasha Thornton. Um, I am the SAC and potential teacher. Um, hello, everyone. I am Mark Neil Casimiro. I'm a student at Kohala High School. I'm a senior. I'm a part of Stuco, um, Big Island representative, and I represent students. Hi, Melissa Millet, um, Partners in Development Foundation, um, here representing as a sub-in for Ross and um, 
probably a parent as well. <laughs> Thanks. And high school nice. community <laughs> school coordinator. Hi, Crystal, you wanna go? Okay, sorry, I wasn't sure if there was anyone else. I'm Crystal Williams, I'm the community rep. Yeah. This one. If you want to unmute yourself, Miss Swan. Minute taker as thanks. Yeah, we have Miss Swan. Yeah, our PCNC on school as well as our uh, uh, secretary. Thanks, Miss Swan. Ms. Stafford. There. Oh, can you hear me okay? <laughs> We're trying to share mics in here. Amy Stafford, I am the principal. Thanks for being here at our March SCC meeting. Um, I'm actually going to let TJ start us off and share a little bit about the parent and community. I think we're parent and community. Yes. Yeah. Looking for some new reps or, well, you might be looking for some new reps or you might just be excited to stay on for a little bit longer. Thanks. Um, yes. Yeah, so as we entered the month of April, we're um, going to be looking for nominations for the replacements of our parent and community representatives on our board. So I believe, um, Ms. Swan, I wanted to get it out to you to see if we could put it in the newsletter for um, April uh, that we're looking. But I think when I went to go use the um, Google form, it said that the Google form was expired. So I don't know if you want to kind of try and take a look at that because I knew that submissions were due um, March 27th for the April newsletter. So when I went to go uh, click on it today, it uh, Google Form didn't work. So if you might want to kind of relook at that, we appreciate that. But if you could put that in the uh, April newsletter as well, that's going out in April. Um, so yeah, so if you know anyone that, you know, want to be part of our board here um, on our SEC committee, um, it's a great place to learn about what's happening at school and a, a place to kind of voice concerns or questions and stuff. So, you know, if you don't know any community members uh, that want to kind of get involved, uh, kind of shoot them our way uh, so that we can get some replacements uh, for the present people that's on the uh, board for now. Uh, Ms. Stafford, did you want to, um, do you want to cast the agenda? Yeah, I'm trying to, for some reason this week, it won't let me, let me try it this way. It's saying because of who we share, let's try that, okay. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Um, so I, I got it. Thank okay. you. Um, if you looked in our agenda that we had um, from our last uh, meeting, uh, we had our minutes that was posted. So I want to, I hope that everyone had the opportunity to review and look at our minutes. Um, so if I could get a motion to approve the minutes as submitted. Do I hear a motion? Motion. motion. Thank you. It's been moved um, by Ms. Thornton that we approve our February minutes. Is there a second? 
I'll second. Thank you, Ms. Williams. Is it moved and seconded that we approve our minutes? Is there any discussion? Seeing that there's no discussion, can I get a vote, please? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Thank you. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. Minutes approved, submitted for our month of February. Thank you, everybody. Uh, so I'm going to turn it over at this time to Ms. Stafford um, as we get ready for our tutoring opportunities and quarter four. Ms. Stafford? Did you want to? I'm going to. All right, I think we figured this out so that where there's no squealing. Thank you for being here. This really is the one month where we don't have a lot of heavy stuff to cover. Usually we're like, what do you think about the academic plan? What suggestions do you have for this? Let's look at all this data. This month, we're just really getting ready for quarter four. And so I wanted to make sure if you can help spread the word um, about tutoring opportunities that we have that are already built into the regular day. Um, because last quarter, especially for our seniors, you want to take advantage of all the help that you can get. Make sure you're on top of all of your academics. So um, before school from 715 to 750, the EAs are in their room behind the office. They have their own classroom with tables and a lot of just great motivating things up on the walls. So you have a nice quiet space to work in the mornings. If you need some help on anything, if you just need a quiet place to make some last minute changes or want somebody to read through something of yours, the EAs are awesome. And in the mornings we have a math EA in there, an ELA EA, an EA who works with our electives department, as well as subs all, all over in all the departments. So there's a lot of help in there. So please take advantage. That's before school from 7.15 to 7.50. Um, Thursdays after school, teachers who don't have clubs offer after school tutoring from 2.15 to 3, and that's every Thursday. So depending on the teachers that you have, you can you have kind of your pick of teachers. Let's say you're struggling in math, reach out to your math teacher or even another math teacher if your teacher has a club or some other obligation um, to get some assistance on work that you may be struggling with. It's usually going to be just you or just a really small group. So it's a great opportunity to get a lot done in a short period of time. And you don't have to worry about coming back to school later. You just stay after school and find a teacher that you have some questions for. And then we also have after school, you may not have known, but a lot of our EAs stay until 3.30. They're here till 3.30 and they're usually helping their departments copy things, prepare lessons, you know, get things ready maybe for um, posters or things like that for the classes. But if you ask an EA, I'm sure they would let you know a day that they're available because school gets out at 2.15 and they're here till 3.30. So some of them have, um, they might be out in the parking lot for a short period of time, but for the most part, they're going to be available around 2.30. So please check with an EA. That's opportunities every day except for Wednesdays that are available as well. Wednesdays, you guys leave early and we have lunch. So I'm not going to take away from their lunch, but you can always ask if they'd be willing to meet with you later on Wednesdays because they do have an extended period of time. So please consider taking advantage of all of these opportunities if you need help. Any questions about tutoring opportunities that we have? Um, no. Um, no. All good, Mark? Okay. Next thing I just wanted to note some dates that have changed or are coming up before our next meeting. So we between now and the next um, SCC meeting, we have three days off of school for students. March 27th, April 7th, and April 21st. So the first two are holidays for everyone, Kuhio Day and Good Friday. And then April 21st, the teachers have a professional development um, day for them. Um, that's for EAs and teachers actually that day. So there's no school for students those three days. So just something to make note of. 
I also wanted to bring to everyone's attention that we are getting ready for ESPA testing, which is the smarter balance testing, standardized testing um, that juniors take, all juniors do. So ELA is actually going to be next week already. They're taking their English language arts section of ESPA um, all next week. And then the end of April, one month later, they'll be doing their math ESPA testing in their math classes. So any juniors that you know, just remind them it's important not to miss those dates. So even though April come, actually, that date does come before our next meeting as well. So those both will fall within the next month. Um, prom is going to be on April 8th, which is just around the corner, only a couple of weeks away. That's for juniors and seniors. And we'll see if there's anyone later in our student update that wants to share some information about prom. I have a little bit of news about that as well. Um, and May Day was changed to May 8th. We were originally going to do it May 1st, um, but there were some conflicts, potential conflicts with athletics, and it was just too risky of a date. So that was just a change that was made a few days ago, actually. So May 8th will now be um, May Day for students and staff here at the school. And I don't know if there's anyone that wants to speak to May Day that's on the call right now. I know, Tasia, you guys had a meeting. Is, are there any details about May Day that you feel community should know about? No. Uh, I'm sure. So the May Day daytime will be for the school. Um, it'll be like Ho'olalea. And then at night, there will be a nighttime performance um, that the families of the students can attend. Um, and that is where the students will have their solos um, for the court. Um, I'm trying to think. It, the, um, we're planning for the May Day nighttime performance to be in the gym. Um, it'll be a full court. Um, the theme is actually, it's really, it's really great. So the students, there were several students that wrote in their application, in their essays, that they really wanted the May Day theme to be focused or at least included traditional songs of Kohala. And so Kohala is actually the focal point in the theme of this year's meeting. And so a lot of our performances will be based on that. Mm -hmm. Nice, thank you. And there are other dates, but we will obviously for like graduation and those types of things, but we'll, we'll include those on next month's meeting. These were just some that are coming soon before we meet again. Um, something that I wanted to make sure I didn't skip a page, something I wanted to make sure to bring up. Um, I've not received a lot of concerns, but I did receive a few concerns about our theme for prom this year, which is a night in Las Vegas. Um, I did just want to make note here in our school community council that we are not promoting gambling with this theme. A lot of this had to do with the decorations, honestly, the decorations and the color and the celebration. Um, and I know that the committee also wanted to have several games that involved the students interacting more instead of it being like one of those dances where people are on their phones or you've got people in their different cliques around. They really wanted people to talk with each other and um, socialize with each other. So we are being very cognizant of um, not doing anything that would make it seem that we're promoting gambling. We're all about having fun and socializing and having a great time to dress up as if you're on the town for the night. So um, I did wanna offer an opportunity if anyone did have concerns, um, if you don't feel comfortable sharing in this form to reach out to me by phone or email, um, if there's additional things that you wanted to share with me or if anyone's comfortable sharing anything um, about prom here, I'm more than happy to listen. I think the concerns came when our signs came out because a lot of what was on the signs were things like cards and that type of thing um, that looked like games that you would see in Vegas. Again, it was it was mostly for um, the decorations and to catch people's eye and to go with the theme. So um, definitely if you know anyone or if you hear of anything, people have concerns, please just send them my way and I'd be more than happy to answer any questions. Any thoughts about prom? Do you know where, where is the prom? It's, it's, prom is, I believe, is it down at the Hilton or? Yes. Asia, you can have more yeah, details. Yeah, Hilton. Which or, is or very Mark, exciting. Yeah, Mark, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> Do you have anything that you want to share, Mark? 
Um, no, I'm just kind of um, too excited to, to, you know, <laughs> to go to prom because this is my first and last prom here at Kohala. <laughs> and I like the theme. Thank you. Uh, good to hear. Thank you. And then also with this prom, they were able to invite guests from other schools. Yeah, that's definitely an exciting thing because of COVID in the past, we were barely able to have dances, let alone mm -hmm. have people from other schools and intermingle in that way. So yeah, this one, you're allowed to invite any guests from um, off campus. Students can come that do not um, go to Kohala High School. And there's an age thing, I'm sure, right? That they have yep, to be there's an age limit, 19 and younger. Great questions. And just to ensure that they really are 19 um, and who they say they are, students, when they buy their tickets, have to write down the first and last name of the person, um, the legal first and last name. And when they come to the door, they have to show their driver's license or some sort of state, um, like ID that has a picture with their name on top of it mm -hmm. to match the name of the ticket. I'm actually really impressed because the students came to me with presentations on three different potential themes um, for approval and told me about what all they were going to include with, you know, what those themes would mean. Um, and then I let them know which ones I could approve and then they made the final decision, but they've really taken a lot of time to include details for everyone's safety. They've been very clear in the communication that's gone out, behaviors and things that will not be tolerated and that would are reasons why you would be asked to leave the dance and not get a refund. You would just immediately be asked to leave. They're even asking that people don't bring in um, large bags or anything like that. You're allowed a small bag and it has to be clear so that they can see everything that's in there. So, and this is all student driven. They've all thought of these things. So I've really been impressed at the details and the links they've gone to, to ensure that it's a fun night for everybody, a fun and safe night. All right. And just making sure everyone saw, uh, we do have a new athletic director, Jamie Carvalho. He knows a lot of people and a lot of people know him is what I've learned very quickly. So um, a lot of people know him from Honoka'a because he um, has been a coach there, football coach and uh, basketball coach. Um, but he also has roots in Kohala. His dad actually graduated from Kohala High School. And so he considers himself 50-50. And he is super excited to come and help support our athletics program and already has a bunch of ideas. Um, so his first day will be next week, Tuesday, because again, we don't have school on Monday. So we're putting him right to work. He's got a vol home volleyball game that night. And I'm going to be gone for a little while in April. He's going to just jump right in and take over. So if you did not get to see the information and introduction on him, that was in our March school newsletter in the principal's message. So that can be found on our website at kohalahs.org. There's so many things on that website that Miss Swan has put together. She started putting together our new website. Um, and so all of the minutes and recordings from these meetings are on there, all of our newsletters, student announcements. So if you ever miss anything, that's the place to go. You can find it there on the school website. But yeah, we're excited to have Jamie um, A.D. Carvalho on campus next week. So I look forward to everybody getting a chance to meet him or see him again. And before we go, because I didn't make a slide, I wanted to hear from the students to see if there's any updates that you have. Um, just real quick, we do have two things that just happened this week. We had students registering for classes next week. Um, Ms. Deleuze has been going into classes. I think we have one more group left tomorrow. Um, and then the middle schoolers will be coming up for registration a little bit later. So that's exciting, but just gives us an indication of how close we are to the end of the year already. Um, and Climb High and Anti-SIS and our student ambassadors put together an amazing college and career expo today. We had our whole gym packed with presenters um, from businesses and from colleges on island and off island. People flew in from Oahu. There was one lady here from California. Um, I don't know if she's moved here since, but she was presenting with one of the businesses. So it was great. The kids had a chance to pick where they wanted to go. And maybe the students that we have on the call can share a little bit their perspective on how it was. But 
it was kind of like speed dating. <laughs> it was speed and for you went from one presenter to the other, just getting some really great base information to see if that's something you'd like to explore a little bit further. So we're really excited about um, some things that have already happened this first week. We had a quarter three celebration that got post postponed from the last day of school in quarter three to Monday. That feels like it was so long ago, but it was only four days ago. We had a dunking booth and I got dunked a lot. It was super fun, but I was exhausted the next day. Um, but Mrs. Patel and a whole crew of teachers, plus our student council, um, helped put that together and run it. And there was food all over and there were games and there was a water slide with rafts and like I said, the dunking booth. So it was a lot of fun. We had Auntie Hinano and some other staff making shave ice for the kids. Um, and tomorrow we have the Navy band coming. So we've had a really great first week back for quarter four and lots more to come. Mark, I'll let you take it away for maybe some student updates on what you guys are up to. So um, for the student um, events update, um, last month we did, um, we attended the traffic safety campaign, which is the, oh, the HSSC. Sorry, we oh. attended the BIASC meeting oh, yeah. and they Sorry. wanted us to set up a traffic safety campaign or anything to promote traffic safety. So we wanted to focus on that more and towards the ending of the school year. Yeah, it, and the meeting is about what can we do um, our topic is about what can we do to uh, make students engage to academics. So because um, during that meeting, um, our topic was like, um, okay, um, what's one of your problem? Um, okay, what's what the problem is in your school? And student engagement is one of the problem in our school because only students, few students only uh, participate to certain events such as, um, you know, spirit weeks and all the events so we came up with this idea that what can we do to make students engage in academics and one of um one of the things that we can do is advising um the second one is um giving college opportunities and the third one is um offer um offering pathways especially to those students who wanted to um, take, uh, let's say, medical field after, um, after their um, high school. So just like me, I'm planning to pursue nursing. But since that we don't have nursing pathway, um, it's kind of hard for me to, um, if what, um, what are the things that I need to do to be a nurse or what can I do to get into the nursing program? Okay. We had um, an official list of things that we wanted to complete. We don't currently have the list with us, but Antisys does have the big breakdown. Um, we made kind of like a, an idea bubble thing. Mm -hmm. And then um, another thing that we talked about is that we've realized that students now attending our school really only reach for the minimum requirements. Yeah. So if you tell them to do this, they won't really go above and beyond to try to achieve more. They'll want to just do just what you're told what they're told to so we wanted to improve that and we wanted to talk more with anti-sys and more of the hssc meet um members about how we can improve on that yeah okay um yeah that's it thank you and I just want to add in that these two students have done and other students have done a lot, especially our sophomores, to um, write proposals to submit to me for ideas for um, school wide events or things that we can do to improve in these areas. And Maurice actually was one of several students that organized a college visit. They're going tomorrow. Like I said, there's a lot going on. They're going to Palama Nui tomorrow and it was all student organized student generated. Um, Maurice is a big part of that and she has a couple of colleagues as well um, that have worked to make that happen. So it is great. We highly encourage and support um, student driven initiatives here at the school. So I'm really happy that they're finally getting to take their trip tomorrow to Palama Nui with about 20 students that are going with them and they're looking to just continue building on this each year. And then they're going to be able to actually present on Oahu. Maurice, do you want to talk about that a little bit? Because that's coming up soon. 
Um, on April 13th, me, KK, Avery, and then we're going to take along with us Sydney and Christine. We're going to be flying to Oahu and we're going to be com competing in Vision Lab. I think we're going against around eight other schools in our age category. And then, um, so we're currently accepted into semifinals. In the event that we don't win, there is another event where two of the three of us, me, KK, and Avery, get to go to another event and we get to pitch our ideas then. And then if we do win, we get to go to finals. And all of this is being taken place at McKinley. And then the next day, there is another event where we can pitch our ideas even more. And um, basically, our project was that we wanted more college opportunities and college life opportunities to be given to underclassmen rather than given to only seniors and juniors. And we were in contact with Mrs. Henderson. And she did agree with us that the juniors and sophomores should be given more opportunities. And along with the college trip that we're taking, we've also created ACT prep packets that we're hoping to distribute to all upcoming juniors and sophomores and then whatever upcoming freshmen that want it. And then we also fixed up and organized our college continuum. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome, guys. And then Ms. Thornton, was there anything else that you wanted to add on the Stuco end? Um, anything coming up or events that you feel we should be aware of? Um, not that I can think of at this moment. I know that uh, Nico and Maurice touched on the traffic safety um, events that they're planning right now for this upcoming quarter. There's a few events that um, they are planning in, and you will receive proposals for them shortly. <laughs> And I just want to give one quick shout out before we close out to Partners in Development, which is um, our partner that Ms. Millett, um, we were able to have Ms. Millett because of Partners in Development. We actually were able over spring break to attend a community school training, um, just kind of uh, letting us know a little bit more about some things that we can be doing to really help the school become the center of the community again. and kind of become a seamless, you don't know where the community ends and the school starts and vice versa, because we're really utilizing all of the resources that we have up here in Kohala to benefit students and the community and figuring out, finding ways where we can connect and support each other more. And so Miss Millette, I know everybody knows Ross, but Miss Millette is officially our new high school community school coordinator. Ross is overseeing all three new community school coordinators. We have one at each school now, which is amazing because that's just more hands and more people that can help us make these connections. And so we're really thankful for that connection. And they're they're helping us do things like, I mean, last minute I'll ask them, ooh, can you help with this survey? Or can you help us make QR codes and so we can pass these out at basketball games and pass them out in the parking lot just to try and get information out there a little bit quicker and more widespread. and. Um, get more community and family voice um, and student voice. They're also, they also help us with organizing student surveys. So we're extremely thankful and just look forward to, um, to improving in that area for next year and being a little more intentional in our efforts to include families and in the community more. And I'll pass it back over to TJ. That's all that I have. Just checking to see if there's any other other. Um, Melissa. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Did you want to talk about the April 14th suicide prevention that's coming up? Sure. That was April 14th. So have, yeah. So upcoming events that we um, will be facilitating is um, Brian. He'll be coming out from Oahu. Um, he did the elementary side already, so we do have a combination of middle school and high school. Um, it's a suicide prevention. We want a presentation for faculty and staff just to be aware, you know, and how to, I guess, coach these students into um, prevention stages. Yeah. So there yeah. is going to be a letter that right? I'm sorry. State mandate. It's a yeah. state mandate. Yes, it is. Yeah, every year. So um, that will be that. 
Um, again, it's the April 12th, Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the substance awareness presentation. We um, also, well, after that, it's April 21st um, for that conscious discipline that um, Ms. Stafford went over on the calendar. And then May 24th will be our, with Dr. Kimo Alameda. He is doing a substance um, awareness and prevention piece as well. Um, not just on Narcan, which is just, you know, or fentanyl that is going on around on the big island, but any substance, whether it's alcohol or, or, you know, recreational kind type of, of, you know, <laughs> substance abuse. So yeah, he'll go more into detail. We're also doing a community event with Dr. Kimo. So yeah, lots of events happening. So I've been running around cause I've been all doing this solo. So I know how Ross is feeling right now. <laughs> My partner's out in elementary and yeah, he's adding on, I believe eight more schools and one on Molokai. So I'll be here. I'll be around. That's awesome, Melissa. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, also to announce too, you know, we're full force into our spring sports here at school. Um, volleyball is taking place for boys volleyball as well as girls softball. Um, I believe girls so ba boys baseball played their last home game yesterday, I believe, against Kamehameha here at Camp Park. Um, we also got golf going on. I believe that they went out today down to uh, Waikoloa. Um, and also we got track and field. I believe that's happening as well. So, yeah, lots of things going on at the school, um, you know, as far as sports and um, academics with the kids and, and fairs and stuff and training for staff and stuff. So, yeah, thank you. Yeah, I think tomorrow there's like a meet or a game for every sport. I mean, on Saturday. This oh, weekend. Sa yeah, Saturday. Saturday's a busy day. Yeah, Volleyball's away at uh, Parker on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's blocked. Saturday's a busy day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so um, I don't think that we have anything else that we need to cover for the month. Um, kind of just want to recap again to remind uh, parent and community people, um, you know, if we want to get some people involved for nominations that's coming up in April, um, as we need to have the new representatives in place by May. So normally elections will take place in April, um, and then they should be in on by May. So get the word out, any parents or community people that you want to, you know, uh, nominate or get involved. It's a good place here at the RSCC. That meetings. is one thing I did forget. Student um, council um, applications are happening right now. So I've received several applications mm. for class officers. Um, and I'm still waiting for a few more. I've heard, I've had some students tell me that they're just haven't put it. And I'm, I'm assuming that's next school for next school year, right? Yes, next next school year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. for Stuco and for class officers. And so um, their videos, the ones that have already turned in, have already started working on their video speeches to be presented in homeroom. Awesome. Um, if there's no more business that needs to be discussed, any announcements, anybody want to share anything? Kind of open floor now. If I can get a motion for adjournment, please. Motion. Thank you, Ms. Thornton. I need a second. Okay. Thank you, Mark. Second. All those. Is there any discussion? Seeing that there's none. All those in favor, aye. Aye. All those opposed, nay. Thank you. Ayes have it. Meeting adjourned. Aloha, everyone. See you May or in April. See you in April. <laughs> See you in April. Bye. Bye. Bye.